If you're taking live online classes or you plan to take a live online class, you're gonna be using Zoom. And if you have a hard time logging into Zoom, I have the solution. My name is James, I'm the Student Support Supervisor for PBSC Online. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to zoom.us forward slash download. You're gonna download the Zoom client. Now for Windows, you're just gonna click on the download button. If you're on a Mac, if you're on a newer Mac with one of the M1 or M2 chips, uh, right here it says for Macs with Apple Silicon chips, click on here. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click there. And I'm gonna download the Zoom installer. I'm gonna click on it over here. I'm gonna click on continue, install. I'm gonna put in my Mac password. This is the password I use to log into my Mac. Uh, when this window pops up, I'm just gonna click okay. It's gonna install the application. Now I'm just gonna click on close. And when it asks if I wanna move the installer to the trash, go ahead and do that because you don't really need it anymore. So once it's installed, Zoom will automatically load up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on done and I'm gonna close it out for right now. So next I wanna go to my class where the Zoom session is gonna be. So I'm gonna click on Zoom. And here you can see I already have one at three o'clock. I'm gonna click on join. And you will see this window pop up that says open the Zoom app. I'm just gonna click on open the Zoom app. And you should see this message here that says this meeting is for authorized participants only. I'm gonna click sign in to join. And here, instead of logging in right here, I'm gonna click this button that says SSO and it looks like a little key. You wanna make sure that you click that button. So now it's gonna ask for your company domain and here you just wanna type in Palm Beach State, all one word. Now, if you've signed into Zoom before, when you click continue, it should just automatically sign you in. But if you haven't signed in before, it's gonna ask you to log in with your student email address. So we am gonna click on continue. And I'm gonna open the Zoom app again. Now, since I've already used Zoom on this computer before, it just automatically logs me right in. Like I said, otherwise it'll take you to the student login page. Then it'll open up the app for you. So now all I wanna do is just click on join with computer audio and here we are, we're inside the Zoom session. Now, if you go to Zoom and you know your class starts at three, but here it says today at 12, the first thing you wanna do is check your time zone. Right here it says current time zone and language are GMT minus seven Pacific time. I know that's wrong. So all I have to do is click on the little pencil and we'll click on time zone and we'll come down to negative four. where it says Eastern time. Now, if it wasn't daylight savings times, it, it would say negative five. So I'm gonna click on Eastern time, click on update, and now you see the time is correct. And that's all there is to it. If you have any more questions, please contact my department at online student support at palmbeachstate.edu, and we'll be happy to help you out. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.